All right, that was Jam for Albert K by the Fake News Blues Band. And before that, we had Without Borders by Steven Schoenberg. What'd you think of that uh, jam for Albert K? Um, Ooh, that was, yeah, that was really tight. It reminded me a lot of the sort of a uh, Grateful Dead Almond Brothers jam band aesthetic, but with more of a truly bluesy vibe to it, really digging deep into the blues there. Yeah, Albert K, it's just a jam for him. I mm-hmm. guess it's, uh, it's Albert King, and uh, he's certainly one of the uh, blues giants. And uh, and actually, the whole album that they did, uh, the Fake News Blues Band, which is obviously very pertinent <laughs> in today's uh, <laughs> political uh, um, uh, area. So, uh, yeah, there's a lot of fake news going around, but this is not some fake music. This is some great music. Mm, and uh, Very strong stuff. Yeah, and... Um, uh, actually, it's the Fake News Blues Band is out of, uh, uh, well, a mixture of Suffield, Connecticut, and also uh, um, up here in, uh, in East Hampton as well, in, in Massachusetts. Uh, it was recorded, actually, in Manchester, Connecticut at Massaphonic Studios. Very cool, yeah. Yeah, and um, before that, Stephen Schoenberg, uh, his song, um, Without Borders, that was uh, done originally um, and at the Shea Theater back in 1991. Oh, wow, yeah. That's, yeah, it's beautiful to hear that sort of intense, complicated improvisation. It's very rich and very melodically complicated and harmonically interesting. I don't know. Uh, maybe I'm just a music theory nerd, but, like, I don't know. To think that someone could actually improvise that in a way that still has it feeling that cohesive it hits it really hits yeah i i mean the you know the this the actual um you know technical ability that he has is just amazing oh absolutely and his his obviously his taste is just unreal and Mm -hmm. uh yeah, to be able to do something like that, and for our listeners who, do, who aren't familiar with Steven Schoenberg, he's had a long history of, he's written songs that actually were used uh, on Sesame Street. Right. And uh, he's written for all kinds of different people. Um, he's one of I, the giants, really. Yeah, and this, this album, the reason, um, even though it's a 1991 recording, this is an album called Steven Schoenberg Concerts that was just done uh, very recently is a compilation of concerts from 1990 through 2012. And actually, uh, one of our DJs, uh, mm-hmm. David Sokol, uh, worked with Stephen in selecting, uh, you know, which are going to be the songs on this uh, particular compilation. So, Super yeah. Cool. yeah. So go out and check it out. What the shot. So what do we got next? Okay, next we have some songs coming up by Humble Diggs. Four Years Strong, and Jamie Kent. All right, let's start things off with that Humble Digs track. Here's Uptown Inbound. <laughs> 